Thanks, yeah. Jeremy, and welcome inside our mobile incident studio. This is where detectives working on tonight's cases are taking your calls. They're already busy, and we'll check in with them on how things are going very soon. But first, it's time for tonight's CCTV roundup of crimes caught on camera. Watch carefully. A petrol station in Birmingham in April. Some friends have paused their journey home for a spot of shopping. They encounter a feisty group of males who start to talk to them. The man police are looking to trace is this angry guy in the blue t-shirt. Keep a close eye on him. A fight breaks out. One of the victims is quickly knocked unconscious, but that doesn't stop the angry man from giving him a kicking. And if that's not enough, while the other victim is sitting on the floor, the man runs over and starts kicking him too. He then starts throwing punches. West Midlands police need a name for this violent man. Call us now. It's a Friday evening at a fast food restaurant in Reading. But this man with the rucksack seems to be after more than a quick bite to eat. He heads straight for the men's, but changes his mind and leaves the toilet area. Seconds later, he's back and tries to kick a stool holding a door open out of the way. One final push and it swings shut. A 13-year-old girl walks into the women's toilet and is immediately followed by the man. According to police, a picture is taken of the girl from over a toilet cubicle. The man hastily makes his exit. Police would very much like to speak to him. If you know who he is, get in touch. A woman is making a visit to a residential area of Notting Hill in West London when she's approached by two hooded men. Terrifyingly, they grab her in a chokehold. She tries to kick back. But look closely. One of the men pulls a ring from her finger and then puts it in his mouth. The two men then dump the now unconscious woman on the floor and make off. Thankfully, she made a full recovery. These men are dangerous, and police believe this wasn't their first ring robbery. Let us know if you can put names to these faces. A silver car pulls up outside a house in Cleebury Mortimer in Shropshire. A man gets out and checks to see if anyone is home. He's in luck, no one's in. So he sets to work trying to break through the patio doors. Look carefully, and you can see him in the reflection of the TV. He searches the house, but what's he after? According to police, he's managed to nab a white jewellery box. But as he goes to leave, he gives us quite a view. He drives away, but not for long. Two minutes later, he speeds back up the drive and runs inside. Maybe he's looking for a belt for those trousers. He returns to the kitchen, this time with another haul in a pillowcase. Once he's finally got enough, he heads out. All in, he stole items and caused damage worth £16,000. If you can help crack this one, give us a bell. Call 08085 600 600 if you can help. Or you can text us on 63399. Just text CRIME and your message. Text will be charged at your standard message rate. Now, I can tell you that we've already had some interesting calls into the offices here. And throughout the programme and after we're off there, you can find all the latest developments as they happen on our new live updates page. Find it via the website. It's well.